Good morning students. Hope you all are doing great. Today we are going to revise a topic excretion in humans and plants for standard 7 science. Every organism depends on a series of basic processes to live a normal life. These processes include respiratory system, circulatory system, excretory system. What is excretory system? The excretory system is the system of an organism's body that performs the function of excretion, the bodily process of discharging waste. The excretory system is responsible for the elimination of the waste produced by homeostasis. There are several parts of the body that are involved in this process such as sweat glands, the liver, the lungs and the kidney system. Let us understand what is excretion. Excretion is the process of removal of waste that are produced within the body. What are excretory products? The major excretory products are carbon dioxide, excess water and nitrogenous compounds like ammonia, urea, uric acid. Carbon dioxide and water are produced in the process of tissue respiration. Nitrogenous compounds are formed from the breakdown of proteins and amino acids. Water and salt in excess of body needs are also excreted. What are the important excretory organs? An excretory system is basically composed of following components. A pair of kidneys, a pair of ureters, urinary bladder, urethra. Let us study one by one in detail. What are kidneys? Kidneys are two bean shaped organs in the renal system. They help the body pass waste as urine. They also help filter blood before sending it back to the heart. The kidneys perform many crucial functions. Maintaining overall fluid balance. Regulating and filtering minerals from blood. Filtering waste materials from food, medication and toxic substances. Creating hormones that help produce red blood cells, promote bone health and regulate blood pressure. Next is ureter. The ureter is a tube that carries urine from the kidney to the urinary bladder. There are two ureters, one attached to each kidney. The upper half of the ureter is located in the abdomen and the lower half is located in the pelvic area. The ureter is about 10 to 12 inches long in the average adult. The tube has thick walls composed of a fibrous, muscular and a mucous coat which are able to contract. Urinary bladder the urinary bladder is a muscular sac in the pelvis just above and behind the pubic bone. When empty, the bladder is about the size and shape of a pear. Urine is made in the kidneys and travels down two tubes called ureters to the bladder. The bladder stores urine allowing urination to be infrequent and controlled. Urethra The urethra is a tube that carries urine from the bladder to the outside of the body. This was all about excretion in humans. Now let us study about how excretion takes place in plants. Compared to animals, plants do not have a well developed excretory system to throw out nitrogenous waste materials. 
This is because of the difference in the physiology. Therefore, plants use different strategies for excretion. The gaseous waste materials produced during respiration and photosynthesis diffuse out through stomata in the leaves and through lenticles in the other parts of the plant. Excess water evaporates mostly from the stomata and also from the outer surface of the stem, fruits throughout the day. This process of getting rid of excess water is called transpiration. The waste products like oxygen, carbon dioxide and water are the raw materials for the other cellular reaction. The excess of carbon dioxide and water are used up in this way. The only major gaseous excretory product of plant is oxygen. Thank you students.